I'm Chris Day, Referee Assigner for Grand Junction Fire FC, here today to talk about the build outline, how it's used, and uh, interpretations to uh, help all of you out this season. Uh, first of all, the build outline, where on the field it is. Uh, it is halfway between the edge of our penalty area and our halfway line. Oftentimes will be a dotted line or a different colored line, but you can always tell by where it's at being halfway between again the penalty area and the halfway point. It comes into play in three instances. One of those is when the keeper has made a save, shown here with our green uh, colored keeper uh, holding on to the ball. What we mean by save uh, is having the, the ball in the keeper's hands either after a save or uh, scooping it up uh, when picking it up off the ground. As soon as that happens, the attacking players here in orange, we ask that they move behind the build outline as soon as possible. So once they're behind the build outline, then the keeper has three and three options only. They, with the ball in their hands, may throw the ball to a teammate, may roll it to a teammate, or set it down and kick it to a teammate. And what we mean by that is in one fluid motion not a setting it down, backing up, taking our time. It's not a free kick. So they need to be putting it in play, kick in one motion, all kind of immediate like that. Once the goalkeeper has one of, done one of those three things, then the attackers may charge across the build-out line and uh, play the, attempt to, to play the ball, uh, steal that away from the uh, defending players here in pink. The other instance, uh, very similar, is when the ball goes out for a goal kick, which again is across the goal line, touched last by a attacking player. When that happens, any player from the defending team, including the keeper or a defender, may take a goal kick anywhere in this goal area, which is the smaller uh, area, sometimes known as the six. Um, again, the ball is in play now as soon as it's kicked and clearly moved. So as soon as the keeper or a defender kicks the ball and clearly moves it, then that ball is in play and the attackers can come charge for the, the ball in that instance. If an attacker crosses the build out line too early uh, and, doesn't, uh, and then plays the, the ball or attempts to, to play the ball, the defending team will get an indirect free kick from the build out line where they cross the line. So if this attacker came in too early and tried to play the ball, the red team would then have an indirect free kick from there uh, to go on. The third time uh, the build out line comes into to play is that we only have offside be called from the build out line to the goal line. So you can't have an offside in the midfield area between our two build out lines. Uh, similar to a uh, regulation full field of 11 v 11 game where he can only be offside uh, in the attacking half uh, positionally. With the build out line rules, you can only be offside again from the build out line to the goal area. So our uh, assistant referees will never cross the build out line uh, because they will not need to call offside here in the midfield area. Hope this uh, has helped you with uh, learning the, the build out line. And I look forward to seeing you on the fields this season. Have a great day.